Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose XB. I'll bring you another Injustice 2 video. And today what I got for you guys is a very interesting episode of the online series. Now, before we jump into everything, I just wanted to ask you guys if you could leave a like rating on this video as of course it shows your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. Now with that said, let me get, let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory about what's going on in this episode, what you're going to see here. Unfortunately, there is no live commentary, you're just going to see raw gameplay, and that's because I actually wasn't even recording at the time that all this stuff went down. To give you guys a little bit of backstory, basically what happened here was, I was playing online and I actually was prepping to do an episode of the online series. What I usually do is I open up my Elgato and I'm playing through my computer because the Elgato that I have has no latency. So it's pretty much like I'm playing the game live 100%. So, you know, I like to have everything just on my monitor ready to go so I can just see that make sure that everything's recording and all that stuff when I'm making these videos. So I was playing online just to get a couple practice rounds in because, you know, I wanted to warm up. I usually like to do that so that when I'm actually jumping into the online series and playing through the episodes and stuff, I'm not complete trash because sometimes when you just wake up you know you got to get back into the groove of things so I was playing online and I came against an opponent who played as Aquaman and this was on player matches so I decided you know what let me try out Superman I did want to play as a couple different characters for the online series episode at the time so I tried out Superman who was only level 5 his Aquaman was level 20 and unfortunately before we could even get the chance to turn on competitive mode he was player 1 he picked a stage and we went right into the game now at this point, I'm a level 5 Superman going up against a level 20 Aquaman who I'm almost certain is going to dominate me. And he starts to beat me pretty bad. And inevitably, it gets to a point where the opponent just starts to teabag. And I'm sitting there a little confused, like, you know, okay, maybe it's just for fun. Maybe he's just joking around. Whatever. It's all good. The game ended, and I was like, alright, let me pick a different character. Or maybe even I'll just pick Superman again, and I can turn on competitive mode this time. Unfortunately, my opponent went straight to the next opponent. I messaged them saying, hey, you're not gonna, we're not going to play another game? Like, why only one game? And they replied saying, I needed a challenge. So at this point, you know, I was getting a little salty. I was a little upset. Like, man, this guy teabagged me when he was a level 20 Aquaman and I was a level 5 Superman. And he's talking trash. And it, I was, I was salty, you know? For the first time in my Injustice Online experience, I was salty. So I said, okay, you know what? Why don't I invite you? Let's play a private match, and I will pick my main this time. And, well, why don't you just see what happens? Dark side. Aquaman. Fighters approaching Atlantis. Begin.
So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what ended up happening there. Um, listen, I don't want to talk too much trash. He, he lost, okay? At the end of the day, I picked my main, got Darkseid in there. I punished every single time he was trying to do the from the deep move where he spawns the octopus or whatever, the kraken from beneath me and everything. And uh, I ended up winning and he left after one game. I talked a little bit of trash. I did a little bit of teabagging. But it was all just because it was in revenge of what this person did to me. So, listen. I blocked out their name. I censored all that stuff for a reason. It's because I don't want anybody to go out there and attack this person. That's not the message that I'm trying to send out here. The message that I'm trying to send out here is that don't be like this guy. And hopefully this person who was wa who was in this video, who I was facing off against, watches this video that I'm posting here. And, you know, gets a little bit of an understanding out of it as well. Like, don't be that trash talker. Don't be the teabagger because nobody gains anything from it you know it's just at the end of the day we're just playing online to have some fun we're all here to just enjoy ourselves we're either here because we love fighting games or we love the dc lore or hell we love both and with injustice 2 we really got the best of both worlds so let's just celebrate that let's work as a community to bring some positive energy let's not be toxic let's not jump online and teabag and trash talk our opponents because Nothing's at stake here. There's nothing on the line. You don't win anything except a little tick on the leaderboards that doesn't even matter to you. So believe me, just go in for fun and enjoyment for yourself. And unfortunately, if you're one of the people that finds enjoyment in trash talking and teabagging and riling up your opponent or upsetting them, then I don't know what to say to you. Just try not to be that person because it's boring and you're just getting no benefit from it. So that's my opinion on it. That's the message that I'm trying to send out here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did enjoy it, if you could leave a like rating on the video, it shows your support, and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose XBL, and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and like me on Facebook, those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.